Well, hey there, too. It's the day after the thunder ice. And uh, we got 16 inches equivalent of, of moisture in the snow, but it compacted. They basically dumped uh, cement on top of us. As you can see, I'm confident enough to come out here. And there's about three inches beneath me, but it came down in this heavy, wet stuff, and then froze overnight when we got these 60 mile an hour winds. And now we have this frozen tundra. Now if this all would have came down as snow, if we had a total snow event, it came down all in ice. This is ice, folks, with just a little layer of snow on top. Uh, we would have had about 16 inches of snow in the course of a very short period of time. Uh, but it all came down in this heavy compacted. You can see, uh, you know, they got our streets cleared, but because it was kind of slushy, uh, but it froze in place. Okay, and I drove over my end of my driveway to compact it down, but you can uh, look around here and see. Those are uh, heavy frozen pieces of ice, chunks of ice that they had to scrape off. And I kept my walks clear and uh, had to keep doing it over and over again just so they wouldn't, everything wouldn't freeze in place here. There's where I did my last video out of. And, uh, but yeah, where this is like cement. <laughs> Walk right on top of it, no problem at all. You can hear me crunching along. Take a look at the uh, beautiful sun that we're going to have today. And should be uh, near uh, 30 something, 38, maybe even 40 degrees, but it's not touching this stuff at all because it's ice, <laughs> it's frozen solid. And that's actually the kind that we need right now, but uh, when you're talking about needing to deflect the sun's energy and not have to keep coming out and doing it over and over again to dump snow, all right, go in and just freeze it in place. And it's not going to go anywhere. Our temperatures are going to be dropping all the way into the single digits over the next uh, couple of days. So uh, it's going to be the Arctic tundra out here. Um, but this doesn't get much melting done today. Everything will be below freezing uh, for the highs. Um, so, and like I said, I kept my truck clear. This thing was completely covered in ice, and I had to come out here and clear it out. And, uh, and I just drove over the bottom of my driveway here. You can see, I, I didn't even bother coming out with my blade or anything because I just let it freeze. Uh, but the roads did pretty good. They freeze dried actually overnight. They used the weather to clear them out, just drop the temperatures, kick the winds up to 60 miles an hour last night and uh, drop the temperatures into the bucket and they froze dried or freeze dried. But beautiful clear day. Uh, as you can see I got some uh, bud leaves coming out on my trees. I kind of like didn't know what to do when I got a couple of days near 50 degrees. But, as you see, I walk all over my my property here. Give you a good example. That's how far I'm sinking. That's it. Underneath is pure ice. You know, beautiful in an odd sort of way, huh? Uh, but we need this moisture to stay in place. We need our ground after it thaws out to soak some of this up. But uh, if we had this, like I said, in snow, we would have had 16 inches. Been up to my knees and this stuff. Uh, but it compacted all the way down. So, there you go, folks. The day after. Okay. It was bare ground yesterday after we had the meltdown. And uh, here we go again. Dropping in uh, the temperatures. Uh, maybe we'll get some activity off the sun, warm it back up. <laughs> uh, we'll see, folks. You guys take care.